playing drums and talking about stuff. It's practice time. Worked on some new stuff this week. I need to hear these drums and see what it sounds like. I am not used to bigger floor toms right now. I'm doing 10, 13, 16, 22, but I'm using the Pearl Sensitone snare drum, so it's metal five and a half. pretty fun today. These are these little felt tabs. They fly up and down and they kind of kill the vibration on the head. They don't mute it. They just take the vibration away because they fly up when the head is hit so it rings completely. Then it lays back down and stops the extra vibration from the bass or a kick drum or another tom. I put these on the inside of the drum today. They are buried inside the bottom head at the highest point of the drum. So it lays down. I'm touching the bottom of the heads right now. I don't feel them vibrate on my fingertips anymore. This 13 still is though. It is right beside the kick drum. So that's a lot of air and just you know, vibrations. 
fucking sad, they fly up and lay right, right back down, just like these guys. I do it on the stair drum too. It seems to barely get rid of a, a light overtone that's usually a problem, but you still get to keep the sound of the shell. crazy kitties. <laughs> These are kawaii, I believe, from Japan, but they're sticky. Uh, when you first get them, they have a ton of cornstarch on them, so they feel real soft and they're fun to squish around. But these things stick to drum heads like crazy. Just lay there and they can change the drum and I can use different ones on snare drums. And it's, this is how I started with snare drums. It changes the sound. This week I decided to buy some more because the kitties work so well. It kills. Just dead. Put it on the edge. Sounds like a super controlled tom. Now, sounds like my tom. But now I like the bottom head doesn't resonate and just we're just a huge extra resonance and it's just got to go in the mics. It just doesn't work well, especially when you go to the low end. I got some more today and these little guys are not as sticky. I've got something with glitter in them and I think that has made the difference. They're sticking pretty good though. <laughs> Putting them on close to the edge so it doesn't mess up the sound too much. I'm gonna leave Kitty off the uh, snare drum. Do not eat. But there's a bunch of different styles. There's just different types. They seem to absorb so much that they just don't move. these need to work. I'm going to hear them more when I play this back because I'm doing this so I can actually hear what these things sound like on the inside of the drum. 
the way I mounted them, I did a uh, video that'll come out Sunday and it kind of shows where I put them and I did them under the screw for the lug. So that's what's holding them tight. So it's not gooey or sticky duct tape or anything. It's actually held on by a little triangle piece underneath it and it just lays down. The floor tom one is kind of cool. I needed a little bit more, so I put a cymbal felt inside it. It just holds on there and just kind of holds in. Trying to work on new ideas. I filmed enough stuff last week to and the week before to hold me over. So I try a new idea this week. I'm trying to get all the edits done. There's so many edits right now to find a formula for a, like in a series idea. Because I like talking to the camera. It's very fun and I don't mind. So we'll have to see if this works out. But I'm gonna try to work on it this week and try to get edits. But I still need to play. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to just get some playing done. Let's do my thing. But the kitties actually don't need the felt. Oh well, let's go scissors up. <laughs> <laughs>